Okay, folks, here's a video of what a golf nerd has in his locker. Unfortunately, I have no art up there yet, but of course you have your golf clubs. See, so you got my pull cart down there. I have a whole bunch of extra clubs that are on timeout. Putters that you could use in an emergency. Wedges, you know, that uh, you're wanting to try out or you've tried out and haven't worked out. Got an umbrella in the back there. Got a shag bag. Got a ton of tees and some extra towels. I got a whole bag there of random golf balls I found around the golf course that are not my brand but are eventually going to uh, wind up in a big bucket at my house. Oh, things for shoehorns, things for scrubbing off the clubs, scrubbing off your shoes, the umbrella holder for the old, uh, for the old uh, pool cart. Then up here's interesting stuff, some random booze, some of that stuff that's supposed to make your water taste better, some goofy thing that stamps your name on your ball, which I don't use all that often. Let's see, uh, all kinds of sunscreen. This is, looks harmless, but it's just a bottle of Febreze to keep the locker fresh. A bottle of water I refill before every round. You got some, all the new sleeves of balls waiting back there. Got some deodorant in case I get sweaty. Got a little bottle of booze in case I need a drink before or after the round, you know, just to loosen things up or to, uh, in case I'm pissed. All kinds of golf gloves. Got some snacks. Oh, uh, some old rule books, course guides. Uh, you know, every, this is an interesting one. Quick golf, quick reference guide. I usually use a regular rule book. But this one's fun for you know, friends who are just getting into the book. Hand warmers. Let's see. I got all kinds of pencils. I fell in love with these flat pencils up here. So I bought a bunch of them on eBay, but they're perfect. Uh, you, can, you can fold them in your scorecard, and uh, they're very convenient. I also bought these weird pencils right here. They're actually a T pencil. They're not really practical, but I, I bought them for fun. And of course, all the Sharpies you could possibly want. Let's see. I got mini T's, ball markers, more crap to clean your shoes and stamp your ball. Uh, unfortunately, I have a rubber mat at my my range so I have to have these rubber tees and hopefully someday I'll never have to see those again and let's see what else there is uh, and then another box of just uh, nonsense everything from anti-anxiety pills which I don't really take <laughs> I thought I would try one once in a golf course I have them for uh, got them for flying and I figured I'd try them I figured I'd try them for uh, they chilled me out and around and no it didn't work out Nail cleaning, nail trimming stuff, shoe polish kits, eye drops, more lip balms, moisturizers, spare shoelaces, more crap than you could ever possibly use, but you never know when you're going to use it. Oh, I keep 20 bucks in here in case of emergency, you know, in case I have a Lee Trevino type situation, I need to pay off the bet and run the cash, got a little extra. But that's about it. A lot of junk in there. Probably 85% of it you don't need, but there you go. That's what's in my locker.